We got some good news. Roaster Shop called, uh, the distributor I used, and they said, Hello, everybody. Welcome to Glaze's Giza Garage. Hey, this week's going to be a short week. We, uh, we did work on the vet. Uh, last week, as you know, we put the rockers on and glued the firewall on. Uh, I'm just doing busy work. Uh, you know, the corner braces that support the seat belt, where the seat belt's fastened. Started putting those on. Uh, got to make some adjustments on those. I rebuilt some fiberglass. I'll show you. You'll see that in the video. Uh, the tunnel had a little bit of work needed done. Part of the floors needed patched, that type of thing. But yeah, thanks for joining. Hey, we got some good news. Roaster Shop called, uh, the distributor I used, and they said they've ramped up production. It looks like I might be getting my Roaster Shop chassis next month. That is great news because I thought I was going to have to wait till next March. So man, I am excited. Sorry for the short video, but here we go. We got the passenger side fiberglass rocker all in, glued, clamped. Again, this is my method of clamping without putting any more holes in the floor. There was a couple holes there for drain plugs and seats. I utilized them and then just use some blocking and my big long clamps. Utilize some existing holes back there for seats. So yeah, worked out pretty good. Did a little bit of a lever action up there through an existing hole in a firewall. I did have to split the corner like mid -year Mitch does. That one just wasn't fitting right, even though it was there at one time. So I went ahead and split that corner. As you can see the air gap way in there. And I'll read fiberglass that once everything dries. There's a little closer look at where I had to split it. But once I get this clamp off and I put some extra glue up at the top, I'll just fiberglass that in. So yeah, I'll get it from the top and bottom. By the way, I wanted to let you guys know that if you buy this 3M specialty adhesive remover, it works pretty good on your tools and stuff with this 3M uh, bonding adhesive when it's still not cured. If it's cured, you're not going to touch it with anything, but if it's still uncured, I clean the gun up, clean my hands up. I've been using this stuff for years. Uh, it works great when you're gluing rubber seals on cars and stuff. So yeah, just give you a little tip. Again, there's the number 3M38984. Works great for cleaning up. I'm going to show you how I do a rivet with an air hammer. Putting these final rivets in the uh, firewall to the lower window frame. So I made my own, I took a pointed air hammer chisel, cut it off, and then drilled a dimple in the end so you can see how that works. And it works great. Okay, so I uh, repaired that spot in the floor in the corner, as I told you, I split that. And to make it fit better up in, up in this side here, and you see I reinforced that. I passed another little hole that was here. I actually taped it on top because the chunk was missing on the bottom. I came up here and I, as you can see here, this piece, if you look real close, was missing quite a bit of it. And what I did was I put some foil back tape here, bolted this on, and then just glass, put a bunch of fiberglass in there with resin. And then I shaped it to look like the one on the other side. Also, I had a little repair here. I'm going to go ahead and repair, put a little bit of reinforcement. It was cracked here. And this little uh, tongue here was cracked. So I, I'm going to reinforce that from the bottom side here. Well, it might have more cracks in it now, but nope, it survived. Well, yesterday I did some patching here on the tunnel because there were some holes in it. This flange right here was real weak, so I reinforced that. I'll trim all that up. Somebody had cut a hole there, patched that. There was a crack in the uh, mount right there, so I patched that. What I'm going to work on today are these corner plates. 
uh, it's this, either seat belt brackets. This is what the seat belt bolted to. Can't just bolt to the fiberglass because it's not strong enough. So those go on the outside. So I have a little trim in from the glue and stuff. And this, we'll see if we can get those riveted in place. Okay, everybody, uh, finished up for this week. Not gonna be a lot of content, but uh, should be a halfway decent video. You can see here where I patched the tunnel. It was pretty soft right around here from probably oil saturation. So I cut that out, rebuilt that, patched it for a couple of real small cracks. Um, as you can, from the previous videos, I worked on these corner brackets for the seatbelt fasteners. fasteners. Uh, I got both driver side and passenger side in, as you can see here, all riveted in. Didn't get these in because my arms are long, but they're not that long. I can't reach that and rivet at the same time, so I'll have to get a boat. one of my buddies to come over and help me. Uh, wish my brother Jay was up here, he could help me, but he's in North Carolina, so that's kind of hard. But uh, yeah, so looking good. Hey, thanks for watching Glaze's Giza Garage. Sorry for the short video this week. I had a lot of busy work, as you can see. But uh, again, the good news is we're getting the roasted chop chassis early. I'm really excited about that. So I'm trying to get a lot of the brackets and stuff on the body to get ready to set that body on the roasted chop chassis. Thanks again for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Hey, listen, like, subscribe, and share if you can. It really helps us out. We're trying to grow our channel. My grandson, who edits all our videos, he's getting excited. We're growing, but I'd like to see it grow a little bit more. Uh, I hope you guys like the content. If you guys would like to see something else, hey, please give us a comment. If you like what you're seeing, or you wanna see a little more detail work, uh, let me know. We can do that. I have a lot of footage. Um, we actually talked about that, putting some footage together on more detail work for some people who like to watch that. So let me know if you'd like to see that and appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later. Like, share, and subscribe.